This is uh, such a privilege to do, and thank you, Mike, for facilitating this. The shock, frankly, of and the sad news of hearing of uh, Russ's death um, has been something that, over the last period, short period of time, has been quite hard in some ways to contemplate. And I think the reason being is because we've lost a general within the remnant body. And it is a huge blow. But we've lost a general, but Jesus has gained this incredible warrior. And speaking from the UK um, about the influence that Russ has had on a number of people and the gratefulness for his ministry that I know I have and others have, some of them I know personally, a number that I don't. Um, it's such a privilege to do. One of the quotes that Russ said that I have always stuck in my mind and I've heard him say it uh, live, heard him say it on broadcast and I think it's so relevant now which is the fact that the Nazis got all of their top technology from the fallen ones from the fallen angels from the evil from the dark side Russ way ahead way ahead um, I was reminded uh, just a day or so, uh, well, last night, um, is the fact that when speaking to Carl Tigrib and Tar Carl reminded me of an occasion when in 2013, he attended a uh, conference in New York about transhumanism, which Russ and dear Tom Dunn were there. Again, way ahead, all three of them way ahead of their time. And I thought, Personally, why didn't I know that? In 2017, I flew out to hear the Watchmen in Dallas. It was the first time I had been in the physical presence of Russ. I remember him speaking on Saturday night. I knew who he was because I'd been watching YouTube up to that point, listening to broadcasts, and it was electric. It was incredible. And the fact that, and other people have said it, that Russ would, after speaking, minister for a long, long time. He wouldn't just walk off the stage, so to speak, but he would minister for a long time. I then had the privilege to be able to speak to him. I think since uh, 2017 to 2020, I'd flown to America about six times. And the last time I'd really saw him was at um, Mike Spaulding's con conference, therefore go in 2019. I don't think Russ was able to speak at the Hear the Watchman in 2020. I think he'd had a bike accident. But as I say, we have lost one of our general generals within the remnant body, but Jesus has gained a powerful, powerful warrior. And it's up to us all something that I was thinking about. It's up to us all now to pick up the baton where Russ left off, uh, encourage Tom, and to honor this man by keeping up the fight. And not that I can say I can speak on behalf of the UK, but as I say again, very, very grateful to for his ministry like other people and it is it lives on profoundly with all the books the teachings and everything so i will miss at the moment the opportunity to be in the same room for a variety of different circumstances but i will miss his presence on earth but thank you that he is in a better place and he is with his lord Thank you.